Hello everyone. I just want to do a real quick review of this Acer all-in-one PC. It costs 600 bucks. Has the new i5 with quad core. Still lower voltage CPU, but it still has quad core, so that's pretty good compared to. I mean, it is a fairly budget computer, so that, that is good. Has eight gigs of RAM, which you cannot upgrade, and it comes with a 5400 RPM one terabyte hard drive. And the one thing you should really do, and it's actually very easy to do, is upgrade the computer with a solid state drive because. I mean, it's unbearable with the hard drive. It's, it's, as soon as you swap it over, it's lightning fast. It's, it's the way it should be. I mean, computers shouldn't even be sold with a hard drive anymore. So for 600 bucks, you're really getting literally a monitor. I mean, this thing doesn't even look like a computer. It's super thin. It's fairly light. So if you want to move it somewhere, you want to bring it with you, or it's a family computer you just want to toss in the car and take somewhere with you, it's, it's pretty easy. You, you get everything. Pick it up with one hand, carry it over, and it's good to go. Also, the viewing angles in the screen is quite good, as you can tell. Kind of for six hundred dollars, I mean, you're not—it's it's not cheap. But it's not expensive either, so I think it's a—it's a fairly good price. Has a camera that is removable, which means you technically can turn it around and move it at different angles. Plugs in top here with USB, and it comes with a mouse and keyboard. So you're literally, when you get the $600, you're getting everything. And today you can get a 256 gig Samsung SSD for around $50 to $60. To remove it and take it apart, I have another video, but you literally need a screwdriver and screw five screws and remove the hard drive. Anyone that has unscrewed anything in their life can do it, literally. Like, you need zero experience to upgrade this thing. And if you don't upgrade it, it's one-tenth the computer that it actually is. So overall, this is a perfect computer for family, friends, someone who just needs to check email, watch Netflix, and do your daily tasks. Just a quick sound test, some random... Yeah, I have, I have no idea what this video is, but... So yeah, the sound is all right. It's very flat, but it is an all-in-one PC. You don't expect kind of great sound, but it is loud, so at least you'll be able to hear things. If you're on a video conference, you'll be able to hear things. It sounds clear and fine. Obviously, if you're going to watch movies on Netflix, I recommend adding speakers to this, but $600, I, I'm just impressed. It's, it's very light and small. The earlier all-in-one PCs were much bigger, bulkier, thicker. Like, literally, there is no difference between this and a standard computer monitor. It's pretty much the same thing. And I, and I like how the camera is attachable, so you can turn it or you know, play something else on top of it. It's it's a neat design. One of the only things that is kind of odd is it has this light that shows that it's on, but it's so low down that it's kind of hard to see. So sometimes it's, it can be difficult to tell if the computer is on or not. The power button is just a little button down below, and it's nice how it's not a capacitive button like often it is these days. It's an actual physical button. And obviously, to be thinner, it has one of these power power packs. So it's, you do need that, which can be annoying because if you lose it, you don't just need a standard power cable, you do need a little brick, but it is what it is. Screen, it also tilts up and tilts down, so that's nice. It, it feels sturdy, the mount feels good. The keyboard it comes with is obviously fairly cheap, pretty standard, I mean, but gets the job done. I, I don't see any real cons. So if, if you're looking to get this for grandma, friends, mom, dad, to check email, video chat. I really think it's a good buy. There, there's really nothing wrong I can see. And like I said, it takes five minutes to swap out the SSD in this thing. It's, you, you have to do it. It's, 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 it's crazy not to. The, the speed difference is just, it, I mean, it, it's, it makes it 10 times the computer that it is. Instead of clicking on a window and waiting 10 seconds to open, it takes it one quarter of a second. That's the difference. So just make sure you upgrade this thing and it's a pretty good $600 computer, and with this SSD, it's like $650, $660. So it's not a bad deal.